Hi beautiful, welcome to Cultivating Inner Beauty. Today I wanted to talk about skincare. So recently, and when I say recent, I mean a couple of days ago, I had a major breakout like on my forehead and a little bit over my face, but mostly my forehead and I did not know what was going on. Like I was wondering what was I eating, if it was something I was eating or if it was something I put on my face, I wasn't sure, but it came out of nowhere and now it's starting to clear up, I'll let you. So as you can see, my skin is clearing up. Um, I don't have a before picture, but it's getting a whole lot better. Like I had a bunch of bumps all over my forehead and y'all, I don't know where that came from. It was so random. I was like, what did I eat? Was it something I ate or was it something I put on my skin? I'm not sure. And so what I did, first I went into my uh, my cabinet to see what I had in the bathroom. All I have is like a facial scrub and I also have a facial mask that I do. And that was about it. So then I went to my hair care stuff and I looked into my clays that I have. Now, I have this thing called bentonite clay, and I'm gonna tell you more about that later, but first I used some bentonite clay on my skin, and I used that for about two days, and it really worked, like it really dried up um, my acne, and they started to, um, I guess, get smaller. And then second thing that I did, I made up like a turmeric, a facial mask and that's working as well. Now I did the turmeric mask after to lighten up any like dark spots that I had on my face. And I'm still doing that, but I'm already noticing a change. So I wanted to share those two things that I did on my face. So if you have that same experience, you can use those things and hopefully it will work for you. So let's begin. Okay guys, so before I go into each one, how I made the facial mask and helped to clear my acne, I'm gonna tell you some fun facts about each one. The first one is the bentonite facial mask. So the first thing to know about bentonite is that it's a natural smectite clay. And how bentonite, bentonite is formed is that it comes from volcanic ash. It produces from volcanic ash as the ash start to age. And that's how the clay is produced. Um, bentonite clay is known for cleansing and clarifying your scalp. Um, it also helps to clarify your skin as well, which is why I used it. So by using bentonite clay, this will help to keep your skin nice and refreshed and healthy because it removes all of that dirt and buildup that may be clogging your pores. And uh, by using the clay, it helps your pores to come back to its original shape. And it also makes it harder for any dirt to go into those pores and clog them up. Um, another cool thing about bentonite clay is that it has a mineral called silica, which is found in uh, bentonite clay. And silica is known for a lot of things. One of the things is it's uh, known as a oxygen carrier. And anything that can carry oxygen to your skin is great. This means that your skin will be nice and hydrated and supple. And you may even look like your skin is glowing from the bentonite clay because it's cleansing your scalp and it's not your scalp, it's cleansing your pores, your skin pores, and it could cleanse your scalp, but that's another topic. It cleanses your pores and it helps you to look refreshed and just nice and hydrated. So bentonite clay is great for that. Um, another thing that I use in this mixture is ACV or apple cider vinegar. Um, apple cider vinegar, which you may already know this, it's known to restore the pH of whatever you're using. So it helps restore um, the pH of your hair, 
but in this case for my skin it's going to help restore the ph of my skin because i think my skin could be kind of oily in this area and so by using that it just helps restore that and so i mix those two together to create my mask also sometimes i use aloe vera juice which is great it's a great moisturizer but you could use either or or you could use water but um yeah i, I kind of use those two things so yeah let's go ahead and make our mask okay guys so the first thing you'll need is a bowl and one fourth of a cup for your bentonite clay and this is going to be equal parts so yeah however much you think you'll need you just want to make sure you have an equal amount of bentonite clay and whatever liquid you're using also another thing to point out with bentonite clay you do not want to mix it with metals because you do not want to activate it early so use plastic or glass but don't use metal any type of metal now that you have your bentonite clay you're going to get your acv your apple cider vinegar or you could use your aloe vera juice or anything you like and then you're going to pour that in and you're going to mix it When everything is nice to mix, you're going to put on your face for 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse off with warm water, and then that's it. See you in the next video.